Welcome to the Magic the Gathering Arena Tournament. Raptor versus Dragon 40th. They're deciding whether to keep their hands. Raptor's got two mana, four non-mana cards. And he's going to keep it. Let's see how he does. He's going to play land. He's going to pass. Very typical first move. Let's see what his opponent does. He's going to play land. And he's going to pass. Now, Raptor's going to play land, but he's not going to pass this time. He's got his bandit, a plant rogue. Taps for mana. Commits a crime. Untaps. And then, ta-da, more mana. So he's going to pay his two. Play his guy. And he's going to pass the turn. His opponent is going to play land. And pass. So Raptor's going to play down another land. And he's going to bring out his Hydra. Now he's got to pay one green mana, but the rest, his two lands and his creature, are going to tap for the X value. So three mana is going to be all his 1-1 counters and the amount of treasure tokens he gets when this creature dies. So he's going to pay his four. And let's see how Dragon 40th responds to this. With death. With losing, quitting. So, yay. Um, well, I guess he won, but that wasn't as satisfying. Let's let's move on to the next round. He's gonna be against Nomad Jack. All right, he's got one land, but he's also got a creature that taps for mana. So it's it's kind of like a land. It's like a little little land creature thing, but not like officially a land. He's going to play a land. This one comes in tapped, so he's just going to pass. Give it over to Nomad Jack. He's going to play out a lifelink cat that every time he gains life that turn, that cat creates another cat. Now, Raptor has a two-sided card. He's going to use it for the land side of that card. And he's going to use Vat of Rebirth. Every time creature dies, gets an oil counter. Four oil counters equals a rebirth. He gets a ring card out of the graveyard. Nomad Jack coming in with another lifelink cat. So that means every time he gains life, they both trigger to make another cat. Now, he's going to play his little mana guy. Taps, adds a mana. Let's see how Nomad Jack responds. Oh, he's bringing out a cat soldier. So whenever his little lifeline guys, every time he gains life, that guy gets a plus one. He's got two lifeline creatures. Now Raptor's going to eat the damage so far. So he gets two one ones for those two lifeline. And because he gained life, they both trigger create two more cats. Let's see how he does. All right, this guy, every time he casts a creature, gets another creature and they have training. So if they fight with a stronger creature, they get a plus one. Pretty good play. Let's see how Nomad Jack responds. He's going to go in for an all-out swing. Now Raptor has one guy tapped, but he can still block with his other creature, which is going to take out that lifelink cat. Now, he does still have to take a good bit of damage, but now only one more cat gets created because of that. So... Not bad play. Let's see what he does next. Alright, his elf druid soldier is coming out now. So he can just tap a creature or artifact, get any color mana. And because his little buy one get one free, he gets another creature. And this guy gives his tokens evolve. So when stronger creatures than the token comes in, those tokens get plus ones. Just like right now, they're evolving. Whoa! The one ones became two twos. So he's not gonna attack, he's gonna pass it over to Nomad Jack. Let's see what he does. He's contemplating. He's sweating. What's he gonna do? Alright, he's decided to attack with his six six. So, Raptor is going to sacrifice one of his tokens to be able to just eat that damage for him. So, he's not going to take any damage. No lifelink was used. 
So all he does is get another oil counter on his vat of rebirth. Oh, oh, he's gonna play Kami. Change his mind for the hideaway. So this one has hideaway five, so he looks at the top five cards of his library and gets to choose one of those to sneakily tuck under his hideaway card. Now Nomad Jack can't see this card. So on a combat every turn, he gets to put a 1-1 counter on a creature. Whenever someone gets up to power seven, he gets to take out that hideaway card. All right, Nomad Jack is coming in with another 6-6 six, six swing. So Raptor's gonna let one of his 1-1s eat it for him. Again, nothing really much happens other than he gets an oil counter on his bed of rebirth. All right, now he's bringing out Kami. So Kami gets extra plus one counters, which is really nice. And he can tap and give you mana equal to his power. So as you can see, he put a 1-1 one -one counter on Kami, but he got an extra one because of his little ability. Now swinging in with a 6-6, six, six, but he's got an easy 1-1 one -one token. They can just eat that for him, die, give him another oil counter, and Nomad Jack is going to have to pass the turn. All right, coming out with another land, finally up to three lands. Gonna play this little guy whenever someone dies. He's gonna do a little vampire action. Gonna steal two life from him and gain two life. So, his creatures evolve. He got his little extra token. Now for this spell, he's gotta sacrifice a creature to be able to cast it. But he can use his token and then put another oil counter on Vat of Rebirth and steal two life. Now, the sorcery card that he's casting allows him to search his library for a card. So he's going to choose his hideaway, of course, so that way he can play that card and then look at the top five cards to hide away another card. And on combat, they both will continue to add plus one counter to his creatures, which get a little buff from Kami. So as you can see, he handed two of those, but he gets two extra, giving him 7-7 seven, seven for Kami, which is going to be enough to bring out his Planeswalker that he hid away before, Elspeth Resplendent. She's, he's going to choose her plus one ability, so she gets a loyalty counter. She places a plus one on one of his guys, and he gets to choose one of those. He shows lifelink. I agree, Raptor. Very nice. Now rip to everyone with three power or greater and so but because of that he gets some vat of rebirth oil counters and he's gonna steal two life from his opponent now he's doing a full swing in his planeswalkers he's got six one one creatures most of them are just tokens but raptor is deciding not to block most of them but he is going to go ahead and take out that lifelink cat that's creating the other cat tokens. So he's still going to get that lifelink for this last round. But because the cat isn't there at the end of the turn, he doesn't get that extra cat. Alright, his little planeswalker is super mad she got hit. Did not appreciate that. So she's going to do her plus one ability again. Put another counter on. He gets lifelink. And now he gets to proliferate. So every creature with a counter gets another counter. So luckily he was able to create another little token just in time. It evolved just in time to get the proliferate bonus. And then he gets to put two more plus one plus ones from his hideaways. Almost strong enough to bring out that other card. See what Nomad Jack has to do. He had a strong start, but all he's got now is his token cats. So he's going to bring out a ring. It gives him protection for at least this turn. And afterwards, he's got to choose whether or not he wants bird encounters. A little more on those later. Very nice. Let's see what Raptor is going to do to deal with this. He can't really do much right now with Jack, Nomad Jack being all protected from like everything. But he can take out those oil counters from his vat of rebirth to bring back 
Kami, which we already know and love. Gets a third little pick. Now he gets stronger even in the graveyard. So, and that's his cute little ability. Fun. And he gets another token and has evolve. And he can use his Planeswalkers plus one. Gonna buff up Kami, give him lifelink. Now that he moves to his combat, he gets to use both of his hideaway cards to get plus one counters. Kami's up to a 7-7, seven, seven, so he gets out this guy. Either creates or copies his tokens. And because of that, he played another creature, so he gets another token. They get evolve, it was a stronger creature, they all get plus ones. And now, Nomad Jack is left to deal with all this. He's gonna put a bird encounter on his ring, which allows him to draw a card, but he's also gonna have to lose a life next turn. Let's see how he deals with this. By choosing not to. I see. Well, a beautiful victory for Raptor this time. It was not, not as short-lived as the other one. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this mm, commentary style that we're doing. Um, let us know if you want to see some more. So, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know how we're doing. And show some love. Thank you.